Okay, so hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a vampire makeup tutorial, so let's get started. So first I started blending some of this concealer, Invisible CoverGirl Concealer. It's my, um, you can use this dark kind of concealer because dark ones don't go very well. Because vampires are pale. So, um, just blend the concealer. Um, and when you blend this concealer, it ends up very pale. Like, look at me, I'm so pale. Blending, 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 blending. Well, the foundation brush, I think it's just harder, and I just said blush, a blush. So now that your face is really, like, pale and stuff, you are going to use, like, um, a pale, a white eyeshadow, or a really pale concealer. I'm just going to use this. I'm going to use the top of it right there. And, um, I'm just going to blow it all over my face. Oops. And if you want, you can add a little bit of color to it with the second color. So I'm going to do. So I'm just going to use the foundation brush. And first I'm going to start applying it to my forehead. Now it doesn't look pale because um, I have um, a light right here, as you can see. I have to jump on here because I was about to clean my brushes. Well, you really can't. I really can't show it. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I really can't do it that well. So just apply that all, all over your face. And if, if you're not getting paler, then just um, take. Um, light cream makeup if you have it, and then just put it all over your face. And if you really want to look real pale, take the white cream makeup and make the white cream makeup really, really, really dark. And just, if you have bags, that's fine. It's because vampires, you know, don't get any sleep. And they're always really tired, which I've heard, I thought. And I decided to do the video because I was just about to clean my brushes and I decided I would use them for a couple more things. Now, at first I was just going to do a regular makeup. Okay, so now the face is all pale. I'm just going to use a second color, um, that color, just apply it lightly all over my face. Now this will make it just a little bit not as shiny, do it very, very lightly. And again, only do it in the places you really, really need it. And like, in the darker spots, when you're really going to need it. Like, um, my natural skin color is really, really pale. So I just decided to use this because I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So now that you're done with your pressed powder, powder, you are going to take, um, a blush. And I'm going to do these by my two ultimate favorite blushes. 
And I'm going to use the Bella Bamba Blush by Benefit. And then this blush by Wet n Wild. I don't know how to pronounce the color, but it's number 831E. I think it's pearl select pink. So just apply that to your cheeks. And I'm going to start with um, the lightest color, or the lightest dark, or the darkest. And darkest color is Bella Bamba. Since vampires are really pale, this is the only time where they make them like look really rosy and tan. And then go with the Wet n Wild blush. You can use any blush, but I'm just choosing these ones because I really don't have a lot of blushes. These are the only blushes that I would really like that I have. I only have the other blush kit and that's it. And then me and my mom share one of the blushes. I use it for like everyday natural makeup tutorials. <clears throat> and now that you're done with the rosy cheeks, um, I want to take some of that rosiness away. So, um, this is just a habit with me. I take, um, a eyeshadow base whenever I can find it. And let me see if the eyeshadow base is in here. Joker. That's not supposed to go in here. It's okay. So, um, what I'm looking for is um, just, um, do nothing or just any video, but I would prefer to do nothing or just fast food. So, since I can't find my eyes are based, I'm just going to use the same concealer and just do just that much. See how that takes some of the rosiness away? That's another natural tip. So now moving on to the eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, I have to sneeze. Okay. So now moving on to the eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna just use my everyday natural makeup palette. I've probably seen this in one of my videos, a couple of them actually. And I am just going to apply a dark brown color to my lady. No, just bad, it's bad. One second. I gotta go with camera. <laughs> Never mind. She's upstairs with her little boyfriend. Boyfriend. I just feel. So then just wing it out. Well, I'm not going to wing it. Wing it. So now just take mascara. And now for the lips. I'm going to do a really dark and I'm going to take this red.
Avalon lipstick and it's in grape. It's like a deep, deep purple. I'm just going to apply it to my lips. Take a lip brush and fill it in. Um, so now, um, if you want to do the hard look, just pretty much just draw a thing. Little white things. None aren't perfectly straight, but it doesn't matter. See? That is it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>